Today we're going to talk about two-way radios. How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here. Today I want to talk to you about two-way radios. Now there is something that I have found interesting about two-way radios that you guys might want to watch out for. I'll show you here in just a second. So here's two examples of two-way radios. This one is just your standard, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. This was like a Bell South 1010. If you guys remember these radios, comment below and let me know what your guys' favorite thing about these was. This is your standard 14 channel, no privacy codes or channel codes, whatever you want to call them. Just your standard. I do believe these go about a mile and a half. That's about it. It's your standard. You, know, you got your talk, you got your, you know, call, your scan, your, you know, all kinds of other stuff on here. Second, we have this Cobra. This claims to have 40 channels and 121 uh, privacy codes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it goes DCS and CTC. The funny thing about these is, this model, just in case you guys want to know, this is the RX385. Uh, this is a one and a half watt fixed antenna. Claims to have a 32 mile range, but we all know how that works. This one has actually a lot of nice features. It's got, you know, a light in the bottom. And this, the light on the bottom can do uh, SOS light, which if you hold it down, it'll do it. Uh, this one's got all kinds of different stuff. You go into the mode, you can change the channel. It's even got a weather, you know, a weather radio band on it. Uh, this particular model does a mini USB charge, which it has rechargeable batteries that came with it. It's one thing I want you guys to know. In case some of you don't know, the standard radios, kind of like these, this one is an older model, and it's only capable of 14 channels. Now, the FCC has released more channels to use without having a license. And that's your standard 22. These, however, have 40. When you guys get these, you know, if you're someone like me who is trying to start prepping or have some, some sort of backup radio communication, you wanna pay attention. And the reason why I say that is because none of these radios on their packages say, hey, past channel 22, it gets into a GMRS signal, which means you have to have a license for it in order to transmit on that said signal anyway. Now your standard channels one through 22, you can use no big deal without a license but beyond that you notice it gets into the uh, privacy codes and all that fun stuff too let's be honest if you're on airwaves there is no privacy codes whatsoever no privacy on these things at all basically what i'm saying here is is that these types of radios if they advertise they get like 40 channels 48 60 you know whatever you've got to keep in mind that past channel 22 on any sort of these radios gets into a signal that is called GMRS, which you have to have a license for to transmit on. You can listen to them all day long without a license, but you have to have a license to transmit. I'll put a link in the description below of what, what, uh, what frequencies and what channels and all that fun stuff. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. If I find another one, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for it as well. But I just, I for anybody who's starting out at radio like I am, I want you guys to be very, very thoughtful. Read your FCC regulations. Read your FCC rules when it comes to licensing and fun stuff like that. It's, it's kind of crappy that companies like this, although this is a very good radio and awesome cobra for making a really good radio however you know it's really crappy that companies like this who are pretty reputable don't put disclaimers like that on their packaging and they need to and they also need to put it in their instructions and they don't put it in there either when you guys get these radios for like hiking camping um, backup communications like if you're at a site in a uh, shtf scenario and you guys want to use these you guys got to keep keep in mind that past channel 22, you are required to have a license to transmit. Now, in all honesty, I think if there was like a national emergency or something like that, I don't think a license is really going to matter at that point. However, for general use, the GMRS signal, you have to have a license to transmit on. And this is something that I've all found out about radios when I started doing CB, single sideband. Because I'm I'm starting to look into GMRS, I'm looking, starting to get into kind of a ham 
starting to do research on it, you know, what the benefits are over CB. Same thing with GMRS, stuff like that. Keep in mind that in order to use these transmit on channels 1 through 22 is what you're limited to. And it's pretty crappy that companies like this just don't tell you that. That's all I wanted to say. And you, you know, you guys do your own research. As I said, I'll put a link in the description below of what I have found. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I have actually found out about that and I'm like, so I actually took it upon myself and called the FCC to get some confirmation and to kind of let them know that these companies aren't putting labels on like that like they're supposed to. Just keep an eye out for that. Like I said, those radios are actually really good. Uh, they've got really good sound quality. The uh, antenna receives quite a bit. The weather band part of it you can actually set those to give an alert which is awesome other than that you know they're they're really good radios they just fail to tell you that past channel 22 you have to have a gmrs license to transmit on but it's okay now that you guys know that anybody who watches this channel you guys would know that now if you don't have a license yet or you're working on it or whatever the case may be you're confined within the channels of 1 through 22. Don't discount those radios. Those radios are really good. Really good. Uh, the Midland brand is pretty good. I don't have a set of them yet to really test them, but from what I've read, they're pretty good. Cobra, well, is pretty good. It's It sends a really nice, strong, clean signal. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the these old school ones. Let me know if you guys have ever used these as you were kids or whatever, because I did. Mine was black. The, it was just like this, only black. And I think, well, yeah, I think mine was only a 14 channel as well. I'm still gonna use these for uh, backup for, you know, when SHTF happens, these are gonna come in handy. Same with those other ones. If you guys like what you've seen, like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything else. I've got some more to come. Unfortunately, for the past two days, I have tried receiving skip off of uh, up or lower sideband. Nothing. There's no, not even skip on AM. So, kind of crappy, but hey, what do you expect? Anyway, guys, you guys have yourselves a good one, and we will talk to you later.